All right, the next section is Sanctity of Human Life. <clears throat> the glorious Quran says, wait a minute. Okay. Um, take not life, which God hath made sacred, except by way of justice and law, Thus doth he command you that ye may learn wisdom. That's uh, Surah 6, one, verse 151. Islam considers all forms, all life forms, sacred. However, the sanctity of human life is accorded a special place because we're all humans. So naturally. The first and foremost basic right of a human being is the right to live. The glorious Quran says, If anyone slew a person, unless it be for murder or for spreading mischief in the land, it would be as if he slew the whole people. And if anyone saved the life, it would be as if he saved the life of the whole people. That's sort of 532, and we read that in the last video because it was a caption, so we had to. It does seem that, yeah, um, let's, let's talk about all this wiggle room of uh, Surah 5 verse... 32. Yeah, terrible if you killed somebody, unless, you know, uh, you know, unless you're killing a murderer. Or you're killing somebody who's spreading mischief through the land. All right, that's pretty broad there, don't you think? Broad enough you could drive a truck full of Explosives through. Very useful for people. Lots of wiggle room. It's not an absolute. And, you know, the Bible does the same thing. And even when it doesn't, you know, some apologists will come around and go, it doesn't say thou shalt not kill. It says thou shalt not murder. Somebody screwed up in the translation. It's probably right. <sighs> Sanctity of life. Such is the value of a single human life. It's like an entire population. That the Quran equates the taking of even one human life unjust, unjustly. With killing all of humanity. Unless you killed them justly. Lots of wiggle room. <sighs> Thus, the Quran pro prohibits homicide in clear terms, but does it really? I mean, are these the only examples you can show me of these clear terms? Maybe, maybe they're leaving all the clear ones out of this publication because that's just too easy but you know hey i'm an infidel I'm, you know barbaric infidel what do i know put your best evidence forward please clear terms the taking of a criminal's life by the state in order to administer justice is required to uphold the rule of law and the Peace and security of the society. I don't agree, really. I know that's the old-fashioned way. Honestly, I would, I, I would rather Timothy McVeigh to still be alive and rotting 
in a supermax cell. I mean, the biggest problem is, you know, uh, like Charlie Manson, people kept wanting to interview him and they kept letting him be interviewed. The whole point is, no. Investigators will talk to you if you have something to tell them. <laughs> Otherwise, fuck off. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I'm not for capital punishment myself. I mean, if somebody murdered a loved one of mine, I think I'd actually take comfort every day that I got up knowing that person is drawing breath and they're in a damn prison. And let's say, I mean, you know, like I said, murderers, put them in a supermax. Fuck it, man. Don't murder people and you won't go to a supermax. Threatening them with death doesn't scare anybody. Timmy McVay laughed at people. He said, you idiots are doing exactly what I want. Do you think I want to live forever in jail? I'm going to die and people will put me on T-shirts. Or at least he thought they would. Of course, you know, too bad there were nursery kids uh, in the daycare center of that building. Only a proper and competent court can decide whether an individual has forfeit his life, his right to life, by disregarding the life and peace of other human beings. Like I said, I would rather take their time, like all the rest of their time, and make them waste every moment of it. You know, yeah, no, no. Nobody wants to hear from you. Go away into outer darkness. But no, we're not even going to bother killing you. I mean, it costs too damn much money with all the appeals. And, and perchance there comes exculpatory evidence. Well, wouldn't it really suck if we would have executed an innocent? It would suck that we put one of them in a supermax. But you can correct it if there is. I mean, where there's life, there's hope, right? All right. Well, let's see. End of uh, the sanctity of human life. They gave us two examples that weren't very clear, but they said the Quran is full of crystal clear examples. They just apparently didn't share those, if there were any. Uh, anyhow, we're going to have to disagree on that one. Yeah, human life is mighty special. Life is mighty special. But you know, take all the magic language out of it, all right? Look, I don't do to other people what I would care for, to have done for me because then I could at least later on say, hey, you know what? At least I'm a good guy. You know? Do the right thing. That's all. You should do that because you want to. Because it's the right thing. And and it just depends on if you have a positive relationship with the rest of humanity. I'm disappointed in humanity, but I still have a positive relationship. I still think human beings are kind of awesome. And all the cultural differences are just makes them more interesting, that's all. No, humanity is interesting. And I prefer to be positive wherever I go. But, um, you know, and I'm not religious. I don't know how I managed to do that. Anyhow, stay tuned. We got some more to come. We got, oh, the ethics of war. <clears throat> Another. Discussion on jihad, history of tolerance, Islam, the great unifier. Sounds good. Can't wait for us to get there. All right. Stay tuned, folks.